Hi, this is Andy with Mobilize. Today we're talking about T-Sheets. T-Sheets is a time tracking tool for employees, and we're going to be covering five different aspects of T-Sheets today in their back end. As you can see, we're in there right now under a demo account. And we're going to be talking about, first of all, the time cards, which is up here in the middle left. Then we're going to be talking about the dial-in options. Then third, we're going to be talking about QuickBooks. And then fourth, for those who don't have QuickBooks, we'll discuss invoicing. And then fifth, we're going to talk about reports. So let's go to the first thing, which is the time card. So if you're in your T-sheets, and this could be either yourself, if you're tracking your own time, or if you're an employee, you could have them go into T-sheets back end and they can go into their time card. They click the time card and it pops up here. And then let's say they're working on the Stanley Jenkins retirement party. What happens is that it automatically starts the time card going and it shows that the task they've been working on has been for seven seconds. Then it shows underneath that the day total for 57 minutes today and then a week total for 32 hours and 10 minutes. And you can also go in here and make this a billable task or a non-billable and then fill out the service item that you're doing. And it's that, it's that simple. Now, if you switch tasks, let's say you decide to do something with the Art Greg Cookson account, notice how the day total continues, but the task total still stays the same. And then you can decide whether it's billable and what service item you're doing for them as well. So that's the first thing, the time card. The second aspect is the dial-in option. Dial-in is really great if you have a lot of mobile employees. So as you can see here, all you need to do is, this is a log of previous call-ins. And for Maureen Payne, she last called in February 14th, 1056. And she calls into the company number at 208-861-50888. And that's right here in the middle, as you can see. And then right next to that is the gateway and there's a gateway number that she dials in, and then the duration of that call, and, and if she left any voice notes that are then transcribed. So it's a great way to do this if you have a lot of mobile employees. There's also a mobile application as well on Android and iPhone, which you can't really do here because it's mobile. Uh, that's actually in the blog post though. So the third thing that we're gonna talk about here is on the far right-hand side, there's a QuickBooks integration. Now there's a few good things you can do with that, First, you can export things. So if you notice here, there's some uh, notification here. Since Maureen Payne is a manager, she'll have to review and approve timesheets. Well, once those are approved, if you then go into QuickBooks, and since we haven't approved anybody yet, it says zero people, but once you did, it would automatically export it into QuickBooks just by clicking on this little button. The other thing you can do is you could also import your financial data by just scrolling down and clicking import. And then you can see the little blue bar over here as it loads and it imports all the financial information from QuickBooks. So T-Sheets and QuickBooks work together. The third thing that you can do if you don't have QuickBooks integration, which we do right now, is and you go here to the left-hand side and you click invoicing and you see where it says create invoices you've collected from T-Sheets and it pops up a new menu. Now this won't work because of the fact that we do have a QuickBooks integration. However, if we didn't have a QuickBooks integration, this would work great. So let's say we were working on the Kurov Core Women's Association this week. I fill in the dates and then I preview an invoice. Now, like I said, it won't work right now because we have QuickBooks, but if I wanna just see what the it looks like, I can just go finalize and view the PDF and it actually will show me a PDF of the invoice. And then finally, the fifth option that we we're talking about is over here, going back to the admin area, on the left-hand side is the reporting feature. So taking a look at project and payroll, let's say you wanna get an idea of your payroll reporting and see how employees are doing this week. So you click run report, and you can actually see how many hours everyone's worked. And this can be sorted and filtered by employee category and employees. And you can get a breakdown of different employee information here. This is just a, a general overview. And you could see, for example, Alan Ray worked seven hours. 
and I could click here and get a detailed overview of what he did. If he did any overtime, job breakdowns, it, it makes it easier so that way you don't have to fill in a timesheet. It's all right there and you just need to approve it. It cuts down the time that you spend working on the timesheet, which is why you use T-Sheets in the first place for most companies. So this is an overview of T-Sheets. And uh, if you have any other questions, uh, definitely feel free to ask us. And we'll also be discussing some other features of T-Sheets down in the article below. Thank you very much. Have a great day and let us know what you think about T-Sheets.